In order to download the Apache Knife file, let's go to the downloading page of the Apache Knife file. The current version of Apache Knife file is 2.0.0 and we would like to download exactly this file from binaries Knife file standard. When I click on the button, it navigates me to, um, to, to this page and we simply click on the, on the link and it provides us with the um, zipped file that I saved in my downloads page. Um, I will show it here. So um, I downloaded the, um, the zip file and now I have to unzip this. So let's open our terminal. And we would like to check our variables. In our case, we want to check if we have the um, Java home variable set. Um, to check this, we type the following comment. Uh, first of all, we need to navigate to the NiFi. We just simply type in cd downloads NiFi minus two zero zero minus m four. So we already have a uh, set Java home variable and also NiFi home variable. But sometimes you can also notice that you don't have Java home variable set. Um, for example, you can have um, instead of Java home uh, variable this path, so you, can, you can have empty space like this. So in order to set our Java home variable, first of all, we need to check if we have um, the uh, Java JDK installed. Um, simply type in Java version. Um, I have version 21, so I have installed Java 21. Um, now we need to check whether we are using um, bash or Z shell. In order to check this, um, the following comment will show us echo dollar shell so i'm using z shell um, if you're using bash uh, instead of z shell you would have uh, bash so in order to um, uh, to set our java home variable you should um, you should execute the following command echo export java home and user lib exec java home v is the version um, whatever your version of java it is in my case it's 21 and uh, we want to specify that it's a z shell um, in your case if it's if it's bash you need to specify bash underscore profile all right um, now we can start our um, nifi server All right, so um, now we are supposed to, uh, to go to the browser and to see um, the server that it's running. And this is the tricky part because uh, we need to know which port the, the server is using. You should go to Redmi. So let's go to the local host. And we are already logged in. For the first time when you are entering, when you are uh, entering the browser, you might see the login page. Uh, in order to log in, you need a username and a password. So for the first time, how can you see the username and the password? Um, you should go to the logs file, which is um, yeah, somewhere here. And in my case, um, so I was using from, from that log. Um, in your case, it, it might be uh, slightly different depending on which date and when you are executing and starting the server. So I simply um, opened the log file and I looked for the username 
and I copy pasted the generated username and this is a username and the password and um, in order to stop the server just simply go to the terminal again and instead of being nifi shell start just type stop To check that it stopped, you can refresh and you will not see anything. 